welcome back guys to my channel it's your girl jamaican icy so um today i'm gonna show you guys what i'm making for sunday dinner rice and peas curry chicken back and some juice so guys stay tuned i'm gonna show you guys how i make my food don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell so when i do drop a video you guys will get notified so you can tune in so guys stay tuned guys don't forget uh mats up some curry chicken back so here's the season then we will put on it Maggie, Maggie, all purpose. And this are uh, some Jamaican jerk season. Mix up. Some Jamaican jerk season we just put inside of this one. Mix up. Black pepper. Some what a garlic powder. Or onion. onion powder. Onion powder. Some salt. Guys, we don't do measuring around here. We just, just know how much to put in when to stop. You, know, you just you, you use your discretion. How much meat you got, how much season you think it's going to need. So we're doing the curry right now. We're gonna make some curry chicken back. So we're putting in the curry powder. So now we're gonna add the tomato, scallion, onion, thyme, green pepper, garlic. Sorry, no tomato. Hot pepper, thyme, green pepper, scallion, uh, onion, and garlic. The mush already. Everything is already washed off. So now we're just gonna cut it up inside of the chicken back. everything inside so we got some um, we got some coconut here guys we buy the coconut the whole coconut and we cut them up we're gonna blend them and make some coconut milk some real authentic coconut milk sometimes I use the can one but for the most part you know we buy the coconut and we cut them up both to eat one right now yeah so we're cutting up everything now inside the chicken box Making this with rice and peas, mm. rice and peas, and curry chicken back Sunday dinner. Yep, you always have to have no curry goat and brown stew chicken and ox tail and all the big names Sunday dinner. I have some rice and peas and curry chicken back. 
Sunday dinner. You mean I love some like chicken back are my favorite thing for eating. You know? Yeah man. So guys, um, we're gonna show you the next step. All right. So stay tuned, guys. We're getting the peas ready, like I said. I don't think I do it. I'm, you know what? I'm going to throw it in the middle for you guys to see what it measures as. What that says. Can you see? Let me go that close up. That's how much peas I'm, uh, it's going in there. All right, guys? Wait. Let me spin the other side just in case. Because they have two different readings. So, wash the peas in the pot. Butter. Wash the peas, clean it up. Wash the peas. Um, we put scallion, thyme, uh, garlic, and ginger. And, and some salt. And some salt. So we're gonna let the um and some um pimento seed also. You guys can see the little black pimento seed. Um, so we're going to put it on the stove now and let the peas cook. So I'll get back to you guys. The so peas is boiling, guys. It's going to take a, a little while to boil. And then we are going to throw the coconut milk in, the rice, all that good stuff. I'll, I'll show you guys the next step. So this is all finished. There's vinegar is in there. The sugar is in there. Uh, cabbage shredded, uh, carrot shredded. We got some green peppers, and we cut up some cucumbers in there. I'll show you guys, guys next time when we add the uh, the sugar and the vinegar. So guys, we're about to blend up the coconut. We have to cut it up, cut small. it up in small pieces. Put some warm water, and then. I'm gonna blend it up to make the coconut milk. I'm gonna strain it off, put it to the side, and when the peas finish, we we'll add it to the peas. You're gonna give it an, you know, some more water in here. Oh, that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna blend some more. You're gonna blend it another time. I'm gonna put it back in there. I'm blending it one more time with some water just to get some more of the coconut juice. So stay tuned, guys. So, guys, I'm gonna add the coconut milk to the pot. Coconut milk is in. We'll let Marie season. I'm gonna put the season now, some scallion, thyme, and uh, the pepper, but we we'll leave the pepper whole. Maggi on just Maggi on purpose. We just the pepper is just to give it the flavor. Stir it up. We're gonna add some salt. Add salt. A little bit more salt. After you put the salt in, you, you taste it to see. And then once it, so I believe that will cook down coconut milk. We're gonna let the coconut milk cook down with the rest of the stuff. And we're about to start the chicken. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna think I'm gonna start the chicken back pouring some oil. So western vanilla mm -hmm. oil. guys you get this from Jamaica with a pack or you can buy it up here also so we're gonna let that burn a little burn a little and then we're gonna throw in the, the chicken back guys what we're doing is we're separating the the chicken back from the seasoning because we don't want the seasoning to go in right now because the chicken back is gonna go into the oil and kind of um what you call it it's gonna it's gonna just you know slow cook a little bit and then we're, we're gonna put the add the seasoning in so right now we just we separated everything and we're gonna leave the seasoning in the pot until it's time to put it in there when they when it's almost finished i'm gonna stir this up a little bit <laughs> this is the curry powder and the um oh this ginger garlic and ginger <laughs> guys when this is finished oh my god this thing is gonna make you wanna slap your mama or your papa. Slap your mother or slap your father. Or slap one of your kids. Your uncle. Your auntie. Your brother. Your sister. Everybody I get slapped after this. Man. I tell you, have a nice man. Have a wicked. I wish you guys could taste it. I know it's gonna be so good. We just dump the chicken back in. And we're just gonna leave it there to simmer. And you know, we're gonna turn it a couple times until it's time to pour the water in to let it cook. And then we're gonna, when it's almost to its finishing end, we're gonna dump the seasoning in. So stay tuned, guys, till the next step. cover on there, guys. And you leave the, the heat to like a medium heat. And you just let that simmer and cook until it's ready to turn. Wow, that smell, that aroma. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. The coconut flavor, oh, nice. Stay tuned guys. Do it first though, guys. After that, cover it up and let me uh, simmer for a couple of minutes. Let's do it the first step. Stay tuned. So guys, we're doing another spin, turn. Yeah, just keep turning. Not too many things are adding. This is it? Yeah. So in a few minutes we're gonna be adding the seasoning here. So stay tuned for that guys. We have um some carrot and some um some potatoes cut up. So we're gonna steam that down with the chicken back with the rest of the um seasoning skeleton green pepper hot pepper, thyme, onion, ginger, guys, washing the rice because we're going to get ready to put it in the pot with the coconut milk so the rice can cook. So we're going to wash the rice a few times and we're going to 
put it in the pot. So stay tuned. So guys, the bottom, the bottom. So this is three cups of rice. Three cups of rice. So I let everything simmer, let the rice cook. And the chicken mark is over there. Back to you guys. Some juice right now. Some passion fruit juice. Passion fruit juice. Let me see. Let me finish the package. So we got what two one. Um, passion fruit. Yeah. So we add in some ginger. Sugar. Add sugar to your, add sugar to your liking. So if you don't like a lot of sugar, you don't have to use a lot of sugar. If you like it sweet, then you can use it sweet. The passion fruit is concentrated, so we add in some water to it. Still, my drink up is in. Don't drink up all that by yourself. Guys, you think I would drink all of this by myself? Yes, she would. No. How it is? Tastes like you want a little bit more sugar? It tastes ginger in there? Not really. I'm going to taste much. Taste sour. Because the passion fruit, passion fruit tastes sour. 
So um, guys, I'm just gonna add some more ginger to it. So when I'm finished, I'll show you the I'll show you the finished product. Guys, this is after we put this everything in there and it's cooking, simmering down. Just give it a little stir and a taste test to make sure it's good. Cover it back up. I'm going to cook some more. Okay. I'm going to put some foil paper over the rice. Put a big steam instead of putting you know, no more water on there. Just put some foil paper over there, and then foil paper generates some some water, and that also helps it steam. So stay tuned guys, we got the juice ready, just training it off, make sure no excess, excess. And then we're gonna bottle it up and put it in the fridge. So, okay guys, so that's passion fruit with ginger sweetened with uh, organic sugar and what else that's it lemon and lemon mm, that's it stay tuned guys guys look like the chicken back ready look like the chicken back is done we don't want to um boil too much out of it guys you know we're gonna need the gravy for the rice so i'm a little gravy you know I love beer with my mind food. Yeah, so we're about to turn this off and uh, we'll show you guys what's going down in this kitchen, man. I'm gonna check the rice and see what's up with the rice. I'm checking the rice now. guys looks like it's done to me I don't have to taste it I could just look at it and know it's done yeah nice and chilly so yeah guys stay tuned rice is ready chicken back ready vegetable ready juice ready so we're gonna show you guys when we plate it Guys, I'm gonna fry some planting, you know, to top it off with everything else. So, frying up the plant, guys. So, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna show you once we have everything on the plate. I'm about to eat. I'll show you guys. I'm very hungry. Yeah, whoever patched this together is definitely going to the ranch. See ya. Mm. Little juice. Want to slap this way? If we can send you a plate. So guys, here it is. I promise you, I'm gonna show it to you at the end. So this is my plate right here. I'm about to dig in. So you guys enjoy your Sunday dinner. I'm about to enjoy mine. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Mmm, so good and tasty. Guys, plate clean. Ah, oh, that was delicious. I wish you guys could taste it, but um, maybe next time. All right, guys. Hey, that's pretty good.